Hi, I'm Brad Knowles, producer of Friday Night Flies, hosted by Scott LeBoldis and Scotty Holmes. Enjoy the show. Um, all right, bud. Happy birthday. Yeah, we're all dressed up because it's my birthday, and I'll cry if I want to. Cry if I want to. Anyhow, birthday boy badge is happening here. There's only one day of the year I can wear that bad boy, and I'm going to wear it proud today. Today, I've got a beautiful fly. And if you look at our intro and our outro, you'll see something similar to this in it because I like chucking it for a lot of different species, not just steelhead. Right, Scotty. That is right. You have used this one myself with, with me because you've seen me smashing coho with this bad boy. And chum, I've caught steelhead with it. I've caught bull trout with it. I haven't caught, well, I guess I have because a steelhead is a rainbow. But it'll catch rainbows too, I assure you. It's a meaty, meaty fly. Are we down, downstairs? Uh, no, we're still upstairs. Well, let's go downstairs. We might as well start. We can get her downstairs. And then I can get out of this ridiculous outfit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I already can tell it's going to get all caught up in my beard because it's weird. Anyhow, there's that beautiful fly. We got some marabou, we got some ice dub steely. What is it? The steely blue ice dub. Um, we got a little chunk of uh, green super flash, holographic super flash by Superfly. We got some white bucktail up on top. The reason we put the white bucktail up on top is that helps the fly ride true. It gives it that little bit of buoyancy to counter the bottom hook, the shank. We got an extra large red bead, anodized red bead, and we finished it off with, uh, what the hell is that dubbing? It's uh, Spirit River Lightning Dub and Chartreuse. River. Okay. Okay. So let's get busy with this tie. We got our three aught hook and this big ass red anodized bead. It's so big, it's probably it's off the chart. We just called it extra large. It could be double extra large. All I know. Hey, Scotty. <laughs> you might have to check in with the, the recipe back later because I got actually got the bag at home. Actually, I got a bag of them over there. So check in at FridayNightFlies.com. Recipe will be there, and we'll tell you exactly what that bead is. All I'm doing here right now is just putting a little bit of thread on the shank. This way, when you start wrapping in loops and this and that, it's not likely to slip on you. So... I made one little change to this fly that I just tied. Where the heck did I put it? I already threw it away. Oh, there it is. It's covered. This last fly that I tied, because I didn't have any, I tied the uh, holographic flashes in underneath the tail. I didn't like how that looked, so we're going to change that right now. So, I'm starting off with our pink marabou. Some lovely stuff. It's actually a pretty quick fly. It's crazy how bright that is. Marbu shows up on here. Yeah, it's probably, hopefully it's brighter than my white beard. I think I just pick it up some of the UV from the lights. Yeah. So anyhow, we're gonna tie this little guy in here. Tie him pretty tight, right at the back. Shank. Nice and tight. Take your thread, roll it around the front, and what we're gonna do is wrap this chunk of uh, marabou up on the shank just a little bit. Give him something real nice. And soft chew on right off the hop, eh, Scotty? And then we're going to anchor that. And you're only going to put about a finger width of it on ah. there. It's pretty well one wrap. Okay, so a finger width. At this point, I'm going to cut this excess off. I'm going to anchor it down because it is pretty coarse stuff when you get into the thick end of the marabou. And you probably saw it there spin a little bit, but that's... To be expected when you get into thick stemmy fly feathers. Fly feathers. I mean, just feathers. <laughs> feathers in general, eh? It's my birthday. I'm tongue tied a little bit here. So now we got the super flash holographic in green. And I've got a few chunks that I pulled out of it. It's pretty flashy stuff. Can you see that, Mr. Cameraman? Looks oh, pretty good. Yeah. Looks really good. So I'm just going to grab a couple chunks of that out of there. Oh, we got audio. And I'm going to just 
take a couple <laughs> chunks of that, make sure we got our leg on <laughs> so, and then double that guy to about that point there, cut her off, bacon and cheddar, a little extra mayo. So at that point, we're going to tie one side in on this side, bada bing, bada boom, and that's just going to lay down that side. I'm going to pull this guy over to the other side, and we're going to roll it into that side. Just like there so. You go. Okay. Good improvement. Okay. You like that? That's what that fly needed. That's what it needed. Yep. You're totally right. And you know what? The artistic side of me saw that I made a big mistake on the last one by burying it under the marabou. And you can see that. Yeah. That's a huge improvement. So when this thing hits the water, it's going to break up the powder in a little bit. It's going to give a little bit of a shimmer. We all know that fish like green, they like pink, they like blue. And of course, they like white. We got and all red. in one fly. Yeah, it's like, it's like, hey, you don't you don't go to the restaurant and buy a plain burger and not put cheese and bacon and all the goodies on it. You put it all on there. So now we got our thread. We'll put it in there. And what we're gonna do is a small stack dubbing loop, and we're gonna get that blue, that blue ice dubbing in steely blue. We're gonna load her up. We're gonna roll her through. I still got my last loop in here, so this little guy, throw it in. Until you get good with this stuff, that steely blue stuff is like the thinnest, most static cling dubbing there is on the universe. So it's actually not the easiest stuff to work with in a loop which I'm sure you're familiar with what I'm talking about, eh, Scotty? Yeah, oh yeah. If you guys have got any questions, hit us up. Scotty's sitting at the computer desk there today. Yep, so is Zach. Oh, Zach's in the house too. Yep. Zach. You got both of us on here. Take some notes, Zach. This is one of those flies. It's one of my go-tos. So we're just going to space this stuff in there. You don't need to get too crazy with it. Try and keep that thing from spinning. And you'll see how this stuff stacks up real nice. Uh, there's not many dubbings out there that stack like this guy, or uh, you can use in a loop and it keeps it nice and sparse as this one does. But you'll see here very soon how good it is. Get her in there, spread her out, make her look pretty like. This uh, sometimes can be like trying to get your kids to clean their bedroom. <laughs> That's one thing I've noticed about this dubbing. So anyhow, we got that dubbing in there. And now it's time for me to get busy and spin her up. And try and keep it out of that little chunk of, you know what, that was up in the front there. Now we're spinning it up. It's a little bit time consuming, but this is the hardest part of this entire fly, Scott. <coughs> the dubbing. So as long as you can get that ice, uh, that ice dub and the blue steely inside that loop, you can see. Can you see it okay oh, on yeah, there? Man. Getting yeah, spun you're, up. You're perfect. We're spinning this sucker. Spinning it to win for, it. I know you're probably. You mentioned it when you were doing yeah. your fly. We're waiting for our super fly shipment to come in to Spud Valley here, and in it we've ordered some. Heavy duty spinners. The heavy duty, the one you give her a little spin on the bottom and you let her spin spin everything up and you let it go and it goes just yeah. does this. Oh. So in the meantime, Zach. We do it old school. We're uh, we're watching your videos and we're wishing we had one of them things. So the old camera's a little ways away from here. Anyhow, we got her spun up enough. Do you remember where you got that uh, blue steel from? Uh, you know what? This, this last batch actually came from um, Zach because I was... I was really having a tough time getting my hands on it uh, because I was going through it like, uh, yeah, he's, like it was he's uh, giving maple syrup on my pancakes. Here. Oh, he is, eh? Yeah, so anyhow, <laughs> I uh, I called up Zach because Zach's down at Bass Pro, and uh, they got a good little fly tying section in there, of course, similar to what ours is. Um, I'm not sure if their prices are as good as ours. Zach? <laughs> <laughs> you guys are going to have to join in on the comments below because uh, we got Zach, Bass Pro Man. He's in there throwing counter punches right now, but you can't hear what he's saying. So you're going to have to check in. You're going to have to check in. So 
we're just throwing this stuff out there, wrapping up the body, bringing it out as much as I can, and you don't want to have it get all trapped in there. So, throwing it up, bringing her up to the head, and at that point, I'm just going to stack a bit up into that head as much as I can. One or two more punches, wrap it a couple times, lock it down, as the big boy says. It's my birthday. Scotty, Zach, I made the radio this morning, local radio. And on that show, they gave me, I didn't hear about it until uh, they actually reached out on Facebook. Oh, yeah. Mountain, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I ain't got time for the radio. They make a movie, so that's another thing. But anyhow, so at this point, once you got that all locked down, so the story goes is what they've done is they gave me a, a gift basket to uh, one of the local grocers, and I'd like to say a quick thank you to them as well. So that's uh, Nestor's and Whistler. They gave us a, a $50 uh, gift uh, grocery bag, and I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. That's a great gift, gift. So what I did there is I've got my Velcro strip on a faithful toothpick uh Popsicle yeah, a stick, homemade dubbing brush. Man, these things work like a hot damn. Yeah. You'll probably see them in every. I talk about them because they're that goddamn good. You see it in every one of our videos. Yeah. So anyhow, you just seen how that brushed that thing out, made the body look real pretty, like. So now, what we got is they've got a beautiful bucktail. This is a, a white tail bucktail. It's a superfly bucktail, and what do they call it? It's actually, I believe, it's called select bucktail which is your natural you got the nice white underneath you got the natural colors on top can you see all of that stuff beautiful Definitely. stuff that's a big full bucktail if you're looking for quality bucktails you shop nowhere else other than superfly dynamite stuff quality i've pulled out bucktails from competition that it fills the room with some really bad odors not so much here bud real good stuff anyhow so i got a nice chunk of superfly Bucktail. You don't want to skimp out too much on this stuff. And what I'm doing here is I'm just laying it on the back. You want it to pretty well match up with the tail. Okay, so there's the tail. Maybe have a couple stragglers go a little bit longer. Same thing. Oh man, my my phone's been really busy today. Just hang up on it. Is it who is it? Auto collision. Okay, anyhow, I'll call them back. It's probably somebody wishing me a happy birthday. Same thing. Cut that on an angle. We're going to tuck this sucker up in underneath the bead as much as we can. And then we're going to lock her down. couple loose wraps at first just to get that bucktail to stand in its hole. Give her a little push forward. I'm going to give her a few good wraps here. Make sure everything's up on top before we lock her down. Black so. Gonna lock her in. Wrap a wrap. Okay, at that point we got our bucktail on top. And we're gonna finish it off with this beautiful Spirit River Lightning Dabaruni. Which the case almost dumped it all on my lap. And Sheridan. Hey Sheridan! Well, you help me. <laughs> no, I'd love to help you. It's just we're kind of busy here trying to fly. So, anyhow, we're still open and people are wanting our undivided, uh, undivided <laughs> attention. And I probably look pretty goofy to everybody, so they got to check it out. Being that I got the birthday boy tag on and the, the goofy hat to go with it. It's all good. It's all good. Okay, so we're wrapping this uh, dub on top here. You can see this transformation that is occurring. It's becoming very fishy. You want to lock it down pretty good. There we go. Oh, just like that, Scott. Just like that, loyal watchers, fans of Friday Night Flies, or fans or friends of ours. So at that point, I got my whip finisher. We're almost done here, folks. We're almost done here. I just want to make sure that I got enough of that dubbing in that loop. There we go. Perfect. At that point, take our whip finisher right in tight behind that bead. We're going to give her a five sixer. Oh, you got a Mr. James Wallace giving you a. Give her a nice pull. Lock happy it down. Birthday show. So, at that point, I want to give that. Uh, where did my Velcro strip go again? I've been doing so many things here and I got too much on the go on this plate. At that point, we're going to just 
pluck a little bit of that dubbing out. And you're going to see this fly transform. Things coming together. Oh, man. Look at that fly. Careful. When you're tying this fly onto your line, turn your back to the water. You want to give yourself enough time to get the line on this fly before, fish before the fish can see it. <laughs> or it'll just disappear. And you'll be like, what, what, Come the, pluck what happened right to that damn head. fly? It's gone. You'll just pluck it right out of your hands. All right, so there it is. If I had a rotary vice, I'd give you the underbelly, but I'm pretty sure you can get the whole the just of it from here. Yeah. That is the birthday boy steelhead fly. You can tie it in a bunch of different variants. Super simple. Yeah, super, super simple. There. Let's go up top. We'll sign out. We got a couple. Uh, we got one fly for Zach as well. And I think, uh, Scotty, are you going to tie another fly today? I will save it for next week. We're, we're saving it for next week because yeah. uh, it's your we're birthday go night. Birthday dinner tonight, we can't buddy. Keep we're going you here until 10 o'clock tonight. That's so. right. It's not happening. I'm going for birthday dinner and I'm going <laughs> to eat a whole ton of cake. Anyhow. Thanks for watching. Share the videos with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Our humor's a bit dry, but we try. That's how I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Is that I'm gonna, a new slogan? <laughs> humor's a bit dry, but we try. Okay, I'm gonna leave it at that. Anyhow, you guys have a lovely day, and think about me blowing out candles and eating cake tonight. Have a great night.